guys, welcome back. My name is Leah from Leah Marie Plans and I am really, really excited to share this with you guys. Um, just because I've had this haul for quite a little bit of time and I wanted to share this with you before I started diving in and using these lovely planner Kate sheets. Um, and so life has kind of been very busy the last few weeks. <clears throat> so without further ado, let's jump in. As always, if you are new here, welcome. Uh, I hope you guys will stick around. If you would like to, feel free to like, sorry, like, and hit the subscribe button. Um, as well as if you've been here for some time, thanks for coming back and hanging out with me. And I hope you guys will enjoy this. So, um, this is my most recent planner, Kate Hall. I do actually have another one in my cart on the verge of me checking it out. <clears throat> but I can't help to just add the new releases every time Kate drops them in there. So I'm hoping I can check out the next cart before she drops any more new releases or else my cart's just gonna be super uber big. All right, guys. So I will start with, as always, when you order from Planner Kate, um, you will get five free samples and then you will get the one sampler, the one free sampler of the week. So, we dish, so you'll get six, free samplers. Um, you will also get her business card, which I do not know where it is. I might have placed it to the side. Um, I do have a 20% off uh, coupon code that I will make sure that I not only leave in the video, um, I will leave it in the description of, of this video in down in the description. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Um, so yeah. So the first one I got is the uh, Gen Plan font so one thing that i like about the samplers is that if there is ever a time that you catch a sampler and you would like a full sheet of it we're usually in the top right hand corner kate will make sure that there is some type of search like code or number that you can look up so this is you just search jp and you will come across all of gen plans fonts um these are the most custom like these are the most uh, available ones um, but you can also get, if you need something that's not on this list, like say if you need an on-call or um, an overtime, you can get them customized in the Gen Plan font. <clears throat> so the next one I have is 1045, which is your labels, and then your two weekends. And then here I have, this is all of font B. Um, <clears throat> and if you also have not seen in Kate's Facebook group, uh, the font scripts are starting to clear out. So if there's something that you do want to grab, I believe they're still 50% off. Um, and then she does have a poll on her Facebook group of most used font scripts that you would like to see stay on the site if I've read the poll correctly. Um, but again, I will leave her Facebook group in the description. I will leave my coupon code in the description as well as um, my link to get to her site. So. And then we have uh, 634, so these are the striped labels. And then here we have font E. And then we have 395, which is the weather stickers. And to be honest, I can't remember what was the sampler of the week, so please excuse me. So, being that I am in the compact vertical, and I'm sure you guys have seen um, the weekly plan with me, that I have set out for the compact um, prior to the haul, I ended up starting to grab a whole bunch of individual um, labels or date headers, sorry. So I grabbed the October colors, I grabbed a peach, I grabbed a mint, I grabbed a light gray, and I did also grab a black. So this is like, I grabbed these for in the event that I don't have a kit or in the event that like, I don't want to use a kit, but I just want to do something just simple and just get my planner together set for the week. Um, <clears throat> I do have a list of videos that I will be doing over the course of the remainder of the month. So one of them being my setup for my agenda, because um, I finally figured out how now, how I kind of want to set it up. So the next thing I grabbed actually, we'll put this with, 
Oh, I did grab, see, this is why I needed to share this with you guys, because I have stickers in here that I thought I needed to order. I realized they're in this pile, and I could have used them last night while I was planning my weekly. Um, I won't have my weekly up for this week, um, starting the 6th. I won't have that week up, because I just, I actually did it yesterday. Um, so I'm hoping to have a daily up, but let me, all right, we're just going to set this aside right now. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to set that aside. <clears throat> my girls have half a day so I'm kind of like not in a rush but wanting to make sure that I get this filmed um before they come home from school so this I got was sheet event 100 which is the uh, change of toothbrushes um because we change them regularly but I feel like every once in a while I may slip and forget so having a sticker is always helpful at least in my home and then next I got doodle 51b um, so these are the mini for the zoo and I started implementing the mini stickers more so because of the A5 um, because it is smaller in size and so therefore it helps me kind of have that little bit of extra room if there's something else I need to place in or actually if I just want to put these on the monthly calendar the A5 <clears throat> excuse me they are great in size for the box and then I also grabbed the doodle 50 which is the picnic doodle 40 which is volunteer doodle 32 field trip and then i got the black and white uh 49 this is cheer um i did grab some other events so before i get to the before i get to the summer decor and all that i grabbed birthday party play date and travel day I just realized after I went through my event book last night that I actually already have this. Speaking of event book, I have one last video to share with you guys for the remainder of my Planner Key album series. And I'm just realizing as I'm sharing this with you. Oh my god. I have the mini binders or the mini albums that I will actually be sharing in one because they're not all completely full. So um, be on the lookout for that as well. As well as my binder. So two remaining videos um I just let it slip away from me so here I have focus Leah focus all right so we have sheet 1856 and this is the summer um clip art so and I'm really looking forward to the summer because we have quite a few things planned for the girls um as well as maybe multiple vacations this year maybe that will be a first for us, but the girls are excited, and so are we. So here, I did grab 1839, which is the summer bucket list, or the spring bucket list, my apologies, spring bucket list. Um, the one thing that caught my eye to grab it was to go to a baseball game. So I have it in the standard sheet size, but I realized using my A5, I needed, this was what made me ultimately realize how much I needed the mini stickers over the standard, because um, they work a little bit better in the A5. So... There is that, which is good because now I can use that go to a baseball game because my husband and I have a date night coming up soon to a baseball game. So I'm super, super excited. All right, guys. So <clears throat> here we have these used to be the S as in Sam sheets. They were um, changed over to the V sheets. I'm not sure why. I believe it could be just trying to um, break up the the type of stickers they are so that if you type in s you don't get a large amount um you get just what's focused on the s sheets like the doodles um maybe labels but i feel like actually no the the labels were switched to v as well but you will see that as time goes if you're looking for something kate may or may not have might have changed the label in the shop so i did grab the flags because i thought like this was a good size for the um for the compact vertical if I'm trying to break off a large block or if I'm trying to put in like a major event that's going to be an all-day thing. So I grabbed them in 48B. I did grab them in A and I believe that was it. Okay, yes. So here we have 47 which is the striped boxes and I believe these are like the three-hour blocks. I think I could be wrong. 
but these are the larger blocks. Um, I grabbed them in D and C. And then recently, Kate started bringing the Moxie Life and the Plum Paper colors to her shop and started doing them in coordinating sticker sheets. So I did grab a few of those. Um, so I grabbed V or F and E. So we have your Moxie Life and your Plum Paper colors. So I thought that was a nice little touch to my color scheme. And then here I did pick up the 1043, which is for softball. Um, so my husband is in softball, so it's good to have those stickers. And then, all right, I was hoping to save these for last, but I didn't set them aside. Okay, so here is a sticker sheet that I was looking for last night. I thought I didn't order, but I apparently did. So now I feel a little bit better. So these are just the date dots. I do have days already, but I did need the date dots. So I did grab a sheet of these and I don't know why I grabbed. Okay, so I grabbed the summer bucket list in a large, in a standard size. So now I might have to go back and grab the mini. I might, we'll, we'll see. I'm gonna use them. I'm not letting them go to waste. I can't let my stickers go to waste, but I for some reason thought I grabbed these in a mini. All right, so let me see here. Okay, so we have the next six months are the clip arts. Um, and if you have seen in previous photos, I have shared how I used the clip art with the monthly over or with the month, um, starting even with the mid-century mid circles. So I want to continue that with the whole, wow, with the Harmony Colorful. So I grabbed June through December, um, and I have not yet decorated June, as you guys can see, because this is a full page. But this was another reason why I wanted to share this haul with you guys, so that now after I share this, I can go ahead and um, work on my June monthly. So this is June, and if you type in doodle, um, I believe like one through 12 will be each month. So this is doodle six for June. <clears throat> and then doodle seven is July. Doodle eight is for August. And then doodle nine is September. And these awesome back to school stickers, some crayons, school buses. And then doodle 10. October, your Halloween. Doodle 11, Thanksgiving. <clears throat> and doodle 12, your December and your Christmas. So those are that. And then I did, I I couldn't not place this order for the compact word hole. So um, we'll start with <clears throat> kit 434. So I am trying to test the waters. And when I say test the waters, I say it is trying to figure out what I will and won't need as far as add-ons and as far as what and will I will not use for the kits. So I'm just starting out with two the two kit sheets as well as the add-on for the doodles. So I don't know. I, I like the kit. I do. I really, really like the kit. I just, I don't know. I like the vibrancy. I like the colors. I can't wait to put it on. A, I can't wait to put it on a week. I have not used any compact vertical kits yet. So I will be sure to use them very, very soon because I feel like this is just what I need. Literally. I feel like this is literally just what I need. <clears throat> and you have some times your labels. So these two strips will go at the top um, of your kit and I will definitely make sure that I share how I use the planner kit kit with my compact vertical. And your days, which I have a bunch of these in my cart right now. And if you haven't seen, Kate has um, these like the individual. They're no longer like, I, I believe you can still get the box if you were like, but I do believe that I know that Kate did add the individual um, 
brush strokes as well. So I cannot wait. So this is kit 434. And then I did get kit 433. And I did that as well with the add-on. I think this I might actually use for our one vacation. And then I did grab a 4th of July kit because I realized I don't have one for 4th of July. So I needed to grab a kit. So I did grab one, but I also realized that my kit will also run into my daughter's birthday because um, 4th of July being on a Monday, my daughter's on Sunday. So it'll be a 4th of July with a pop of balloons. So, all right, guys, that is my haul. <clears throat> I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them below. If I shared a sticker sheet and you could not locate the um, the information, <clears throat> excuse me, feel free to drop it in the comments below and I will be more than happy to tell you what sheet it is and where you can find it. Um, but yeah, so thanks for stopping by. And like I said, um, I do have a couple videos that are lined up, so please stay tuned for those. And as always, thanks for coming by. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. And that way you can see more future content. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.